There are a lot of different methods of coaching. And our type of coaching is very pure. And the pureness of it is that we have this natural curiosity that actually probes the person's um, vision, strategy, action plans, any blocks or obstacles that are in the way, and lets them be the brilliant person that they are about their own life. And so the probing, the curiosity, the gentleness, the support, the suspending of judgment, the connection, the encouragement, the validation, the building on the successes, all those things are encouraging this person to be absolutely brilliant about their life that they know better than anybody else. If you look at coaching, it's about change. And when people go through transitions, it's redefining themselves from who they were to who they're becoming. And in that stage, that transition, that gap, if you will, that person is looking at, I'm not who I was, I'm not who I'm going to be, and I'm going through this birth canal of confusion, doubt, uncertainty, and fear to becoming who I am emerging into. And that whole process is what coaching is, because each one of us is growing continuously. Now, what happens to us is at certain points we think that's enough. That's enough growing. I'm, I'm there. I'm not going to grow anymore. I'll just take the picture now and freeze. And, and the point here is that we are constantly growing. And sometimes the growing has growing pains attached to it. We can see that in teenagers. But lots of times as adults, we don't really see the growing pains. It's like, who am I going to be if I'm not who I was? You're going to be who you're becoming. But I don't have anything to hold on to. And what if? And then they start imagining the fears and the uncertainties and all the unpredictables. Well, it's all true.